When Ryan was born, he was just like a normal little kid. And then after a while, he couldn't hold his head up and he wasn't moving like normal, a normal baby would. So at 18 months or so, he was falling over a lot. Everybody said he had flat feet. But it seemed to be more than that. My mother knew it was more than that because she's a nurse. So at 18 months, we took him to the Mayo Clinic and uh, they diagnosed him with spinal muscular atrophy. And the doctor said, take him home. He's got about 12 years to live and he'll die. When we moved down here, we were able to go to the hospital and they already had a technique where they could keep him from falling over. When somebody has that kind of neuromuscular disease, as they get older, their, their muscles tend to atrophy and they start dropping over sideways like this. Can't breathe any, they die of pneumonia or something. Anyhow, the operation was that they put two rods in his back, which kept him straight, and they're still keeping him straight. After that, his lifespan changed considerably, so now he's going on as I, I always considered like his third lifetime. He's 40. They said he would be dead by the time he was 12. And so far he's doing good. I began to be interested in hunting and fishing and shooting before I can really even remember. Uh, my father would come home with uh, rough grouse. He would give us the wings to play with. And uh, that was one of my first memories. I've been shooting and fishing for most of my life that I can remember. In order to hunt and fish, we've had to adapt different hard points onto my wheelchair, including the rails and the pipe structure between, uh, between my legs. Once we built that base structure, we're able to work on uh, a modular system so that we're able to put like the crossbow on and then take off that modular system and put the shotgun on, take off that modular system and put a rifle on. I use a shoulder harness and then we place together a, uh, a wire harness that con controls it and runs a solenoid through a battery and I fire it through my, uh, my left thumb. So my left thumb fires the gun and then I drive with my, uh, with my right hand and I use the different micro switches around my head to elevate my seat as I'm, uh, as I'm hunting. So I'm spinning for windage with my wheelchair and I'm using elevation through my seating system. I try, to, I try to join Ryan as much as I possibly can. When, whenever he's trying to sign up for a hunt or something, it, it, people don't realize how much he has to go through just to even get to the location. And one of the things that I'm trying to do, and, and I'd love to just create awareness around this, is that, you know, it's, it's pretty emotional to talk about, you know, there's a timer. And it's not something that I don't think many people think about, and, and they shared that with me the first day that I met them. And, that you know hit me pretty hard because they they know that and to factor that into everything that they're doing is is uh, I can't even imagine what that is like and I would love to help them achieve some of their dreams quicker they'll do it on their own and and they'll work they'll work through it as hard as it takes and they'll and they'll put in the time but if we could raise some awareness to get him some of the tools and, and opportunities just to make his life a little bit easier so we can help make some of those things happen. And, and if enough people contributed, it would be nothing. It would just make the biggest difference for them. Over the years, we've had to create a lot of different products in order, to me, in order for me to get out. All those different items were created by my father. Without him creating those, none of it would happen. I love the challenge of building something. I also love watching the, a full moon set on the hillside at four o'clock in the morning, or a, a herd of deer across a mountain, a spider web freezing next to me. But the reason I do it is because I'm trying to build memories for, uh, for the time when I'm not able to do it anymore.